Boosters will likely start rolling out to even younger Americans after the FDA expanded the emergency use authorization for Pfizer's COVID booster. The FDA says the rapid rise in cases made it clear that the benefits of the decision outweighed the risks. All this as scientists are tracking a new variant overseas. Here's ABC's M. Wynn. This morning, top health officials urging parents to get their children ready for COVID-19 vaccine boosters. The FDA authorizing Pfizer boosters for 12 to 15 year olds and recommending everyone 12 and older originally vaccinated with Pfizer get their booster after five months instead of six. It's more important now than ever for all teens to go out there and get all three of their vaccinations. The CDC still has to sign off on the expanded eligibility expected when it's expert advisory panel meets tomorrow. This comes as millions of kids head back to school with the Omicron variant already disrupting classes. In LA, the return to school next week is now delayed with all students and employees required to get tested before heading onto campus. The nation's post-holiday surge in COVID cases is breaking records. Over a million people in the U.S. were diagnosed with the virus just yesterday, the highest number of cases in a single day since the pandemic started. Pediatric cases are at an all-time high with 325,000 more children testing positive in the last week. We have patients in all age brackets with no medical history. The sickest of the sick that we are seeing now are the patients that are not vaccinated. And now scientists are tracking a new variant in southern France, where at least 12 people have been infected. Doctors are calling it a highly mutated variant. We'll just have to keep track of it. It has been around for almost a month and we haven't really seen it make a big impact. So uh, I'm cautiously optimistic. Here in Washington, the seven-day COVID-19 positivity rate at the U.S. Capitol jumped from 1% to 13%, with more than half of those infections linked to the Omicron variant. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.